King George I of the Hellens was born Prince Wilhelm of Schleswig Holstein, Sonderburg, Glucksburg. On the 24th of December, 1845, at the Yellow Palace in Copenhagen. He was the second son of King Christian IX of Denmark and Louise of Hesse Castle. In 1852, after his father became heir to the Danish throne, Wilhelm's title was changed to Prince of Denmark. Wilhelm joined the Royal Danish Navy following his education at home. He attended the Royal Danish Naval Academy alongside his brother Frederick. In 1862, King Otto of Greece was deposed. Greece began to look for a new king as they still wanted a monarchy and had rejected Otto's proposed successor. Initially, Prince Alfred, Duke of Edinburgh, was chosen, but the London Conference of 1832 stipulated that no one from the ruling families of the Great Powers could accept the Greek throne. Therefore, Wilhelm was chosen as the next king. On the 30th of March 1863, at the age of 17, Wilhelm was elected as king and took the name of George I. His ceremonial enthronement was held on the 6th of June, 1863, in Copenhagen. George made visits to Russia, England and France before arriving in Athens on the 30th of October, 1863. He quickly learnt Greek and dispatched his Danish advisers back to Denmark, so as not to appear to be influenced by Denmark. Throughout 1864, George toured the country and demanded that the Greek Assembly adopt a new constitution. On the 28th of November 1864, George took an oath to defend the new constitution, establishing a constitutional monarchy. George quickly became popular amongst the Greek people. In 1863, while visiting Russia, George met his future wife, Grand Duchess Olga Konstantinovna of Russia. Four years later, while visiting his sister Dagmar, who was married to the future Tsar Alexander III of Russia, George met Olga again. By this time, George was looking for a wife, and a marriage to a Russian Grand Duchess would be advantageous. Olga was smitten with George and they fell in love. They were wed in St. Petersburg on the 27th of October, 1867, and had eight children. Their children were raised in the Greek Orthodox faith. Their children were Constantine, George, Alexandra, Nicholas, Maria, Olga, Andrew, and Christopher. Their daughter Olga passed away in infancy. The king and his family lived primarily in Tatui Palace, located on a 10,000 acre estate outside Athens, bought by the king in the 1870s. He established a winery, a Danish styled dairy farm and a royal cemetery. George also acquired Mun Repos, a villa on the Isle of Corfu in 1864, which the family used as a summer residence. It is best known today as the birthplace of George's grandson, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who was born there in 1921. George's early reign saw constant upheaval with 21 different governments in 10 years. Attempts to return the Isle of Crete to Greek control went unsuccessful which caused tension amongst the Greek people. Following the Russo-Turkish War of 1877 to 1878, Greece claimed Crete and the regions of Epirus and Thessaly, all under Ottoman rule. Eventually, the Ottomans ceded Thessaly. The political climate in Crete remained tense and the Greek population of Crete revolted against Turkish rule in 1897. The Great Powers stepped in. Both Greek and Turkish forces were asked to withdraw and Crete came under international control. 
While the Turks agreed, the Greek government refused and sent troops to take the island. When forces crossed the Macedonian border, war broke out. Greece lost severely and following the defeat, King George lost much of his popularity and support and even considered abdication. The following year, in February 1898, an assassination attempt was made on the king and his daughter Maria, while riding in an open carriage. Both were unharmed and he received an increase in support. In the First Balkan War of 1912, Greece joined forces with Montenegro, Serbia and Bulgaria in fighting against Turkey. This time Greece was successful and on the 12th of November 1912 they took the city of Thessaloniki. Three days later George arrived and rode through the streets accompanied by his son Constantine and the Prime Minister. With his golden jubilee approaching, George I planned to abdicate following the celebrations. However, on the 18th of March 1913, George was assassinated after being shot at close range in the back. He died instantly. His body returned to Athens, where it lay in state for three days. Draped in both the Greek and Danish flags, his coffin was interred in the Royal Cemetery at Tatawi.